A lot of questions still remain tonight in the death of a 17-year-old, Lauren Wright. The young woman graduated from Fairhope High School less than a month ago and was killed in a, Demo in a Demopolis homicide early Saturday morning. News 5's Chad Petrie has reaction from friends and family where she used to work in Fairhope. Friends and family share hugs and tears in a somber moment at Pinzone's Italian downtown. All in memory of beloved co-worker Lauren Wright. Not ever getting to see her again and get to hear her laugh when I walked into the kitchen and get to talk to her about who she was going to be and what she was going to do and support her through that because that was what me and my husband wanted to do. Wright was shot in a Demopolis homicide early Saturday morning. Few details have been released other than 19-year-old Dalton Martin Jowers was charged with murder. Wright left her mark here emotionally and physically. They nicknamed her Flower Hands. She used to secretly tag co-workers with flowered handprints for laughs. Now some are wearing paper handprints in her honor. She was always happy. Even when she was sad, she was still happy. She came in with a smile on her face and she wanted to make everyone else smile. The restaurant where Lauren Wright worked closed for half a day because many of the people just couldn't take the difficult news. And they're also planning a fundraiser Tuesday from 11.30 until close. I couldn't believe a business would actually close down, not take in any money, close down for my baby Lauren. Wright had been working here for little more than a year, but her presence will be felt for a lifetime. In Fairhope, Chad Petrie, News 5. And friends and family say she was in Demopolis visiting friends, and they aren't sure if she knew the person accused of shooting her. We reached out to Demopolis police for more information on the case, but we're still waiting to hear back.